in the tank, a peace-loving flower child who hopes her ethical business will appeal to a pack of sharks. Hello, um, my name's Anna Walsh. I'm from Byron Bay, Australia. Well, Australia, we're so international. <laughs> I am asking for $90,000 for 15% of my company. I have a, a bamboo clothing company. I do sheets, towels, socks, underpants, jeans, everything made out of bamboo. I um, have five shops already and I have an online website with 3,000, about 3,000, between three and 4,000 on my mailing list, and I've got 100 active wholesale accounts. It's starting to get into bigger amounts and I feel like I really need a bit of mentoring and a bit of wisdom, sort of shark savvy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I've actually, I've brought you all a gift oh. that um, I'd like to share. Oh. Where are they? <laughs> Uh, um, okay. Um, oh, sorry. Behind the banner. Let me just make sure I've got the girls. Thank you. Nice. How gorgeous. I've given you some bamboo clothing and socks. That's I do beautiful. a really high quality bamboo. Thank you. There you go. Gee, the material is beautiful, isn't it? So ninety thousand dollars for fifteen percent. Mm -hmm. Tell us what you're going to do with the money. The money I'd actually like the investor to to help me decide where to put it because at the moment I've got to a place. I've got a really good base. I think I've got really good um, factories. I can do big production, and I have a really uh, good strong. Body Peace family in Byron Bay, which is partly family and girls I went to school with. My family were wool growers in Western oh, Queensland, yeah. so I know wool really quite well. Mm -hmm. And the properties of wool. Talk me through bamboo. What, what are the properties of bamboo that make it a better product than a cotton or a wool or a polyester? Okay. Um, well, bamboo is really great for the planet. That's why I got into it. I used to um, have boutiques and I sold a lot of, you know, cotton and I was very sort of the natural girl. And then I started researching it and saw that actually cotton uses more chemicals than any other crop. Bamboo, there is a chemical process in turning it in from the plant into a pulp. So that's the only process. And I've been to the factory and I watched that they recycle it. It, it is really good for the planet, and once you start wearing it, you really want to keep wearing it because it is a beautiful fabric. It feels very sort of tactile and, and gentle on the, on the body. So, Anna, where I'm sitting, quite simply, I'm a wool grower. Uh, the reality is uh, it doesn't quite gel with my, my position in, in fabric. So, for that reason, I'm out. Thank you. <laughs> And I'm ready to make a decision on you. I mean, I, I, congratulations, you know, it's a nice business, but it's not the kind of business uh, that I can invest in because that's not the kind of business I'm looking for. And frankly, 15% is not a lot of skin in the game uh, for me. And so I wish mm. you luck, but Thank for you. those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. Mm. Your online business, can you sort of talk about your sales there, please? My revenue, um, I'm a bit of a blur with numbers. But I'd say I probably get about 1,000 a week, 2,000 a week. Do you know how many people come to your website? It does quite well, but I've set up now that China can send from, from my head office in China anywhere in the world, but they're not really into small retail. They'll do my wholesales, because I've got a couple of shops in Europe and I've got interest in the States, so that could can be much better for me shipping. What's your revenue per year? Um, well, this year, why my turnover was 1.7 million. 
and it's gone up actually 83% every year. From the first year I did. So how long have you been in business? Um, this is my sixth year. What are your costs associated with that? Um, outgoings. Well, they always seem to be quite high, you know, when I looked yes, at my... Yes, that's business for you. Yeah, very I inconvenient. I know. When I looked at my profit, I was like, what? All that work and 150,000 profit from 1.7 million turnover. I was like, what am I doing wrong, you know? And that's a profit after you've paid yourself? Yes. That's a really good net profit. Really? That's a really good net profit. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm a business person, but there's a lot of um, great for the planet and other, other things that don't naturally fit quite well with me, to be honest. I'm about having really strong businesses, mm -hmm. I would take really strong returns to owners, and then you can do with those profits what the devil you want. All right. Yep. Do you want to have a big business? Or you don't want to save the world. Anna Walsh is offering 15% of her body piece clothing business in return for $90,000. Two sharks are out. Steve is questioning the motives. There's a lot of um, great for the planet and other things that don't naturally fit quite well with me, to be honest. Do you want to have a big business or do you want to save the world? Both. Yeah. <laughs> don't, don't good answer. Yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'm good to make an offer if you like. Oh, wonderful, Steve. You seem like you have a great business. I'd like to offer you the entire uh, 90,000 bucks for 25%. Uh, 25? 25? Nah. I actually feel like for me to say $600,000 is very undervaluing. I just feel like I'm at this point where I'm starting to work in millions. There's so many areas I could go into. All right, I'll give you exactly what you're after. You're impressing the hell out of me. I'll give you 90K for 15%. Oh, thank you, Steve. I'd like to make you an offer. Oh, wonderful, thank you. I'll give you the 90,000, but I want 20%. And the reality is that I am a significantly more valuable partner than Steve is. Um, if you want to sell juices, I'm in retail. Understand what it's like to actually face a customer every single day. Um, and and look, you know what? Working with me may not be necessarily an easy road because I will actually demand systems and processes. We will have strict strategy meetings that will actually then drive the business to where it needs to go. So it may not be the easiest road, but I think the outcome will be the best possible outcome. So 90,000 for 15%, Steve, 90,000 for 20% from Janine. Well, we haven't got enough from Naomi yet. And I think you've got two fabulous offers. So when I look at what I could do, I'm more about the online space and what I could create out of that for you. So for this deal, I'm out. But I do love your product. Well done. OK, thank you very much. Any chance of getting you to both come in? We'll take 15% each for 180,000. Gives more resources, get more stock. So now you're selling 30% of your business. Basically 90,000, which is what you came here for. Mm -hmm. 90,000 for 15%, you just got two of them. So you've got 180,000 for 30% of your company. So that's yeah. a big chunk of your company, but you know, you're getting two sharks. Do you really want to give up 30% of your company? 
do you really need both chucks? Glenn, it's all very well Glenn saying that when he hasn't even put it off on the table. It's the wool grower, mate. Listen to the wool grower. And who doesn't even coffee. believe in the bamboo clothing. But the, the, the reality is the value that you've got left over, which is 70%, is worth more, I believe, because the two of us are involved than on your own. They're trying as, to steal your As it was for me. Shut up. <laughs> Anna, do you really need two sharks? The sharks are circling. The sharks Ooh, are circling. What do you want to do? I'd love to have you both in. Well Rebel. done. Hey, we love a deal. Okay. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dave. Thank you. No worries. Ooh, more to work. Have fun, both. Yeah, yeah great. Right. Well done. Very impressive. Oh, thank you. Thank Cheers. Bye bye. Thanks. Good luck. Bye. Ripper. Yes. That's a great business. That's a great business. I feel like they're going to help me to really make it a global, eco-friendly, beautiful bamboo clothing company. A Queensland couple have bet their future on their product. We've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Just give it a break for a sec. Have you flooded it? Yeah. We just stand here on the boat ramp and admire the view. The shark's next meal is Peter and Margaret Powell from Cairns in Queensland. Yay! <laughs> We've been married for... <laughs> 33 and a half years. Not that I'm counting. <laughs> Far North Queensland has the best of everything. We have the reef, we have the rainforest, and there's lots of creeks and rivers. Look at that, beautiful, isn't it? What inspired the product is my passion for the reef. And I just wanted to do something that is a solution to a long-term environmental problem. It's really helpful to boaties, and it limits the footprint that you leave behind. It will hopefully be adopted by everybody who owns a boat. We've invested what we have to retire on, really. We put it all into this device. I wonder where the crocodiles are hiding today. He's really brilliant in what he's invented, and sometimes in life you don't get enough credit for what you're good at. And so I had said to him at the time, even if it cost us our house, we would persevere with this. But after working side by side for years, Peter is insisting that Margaret face the sharks alone. The invention is my side, and I feel Margaret's the better person for the shark tank than I am, but I'll, I'll be there for her if she needs me and, and supportive of her. Hi, sharks. My name's Margaret Powell, and I'm really excited to show you our innovative device, the Catch and Release Anchor Retrieval System. We're seeking an investment of $200,000 with 20% equity in our business. The Catch and Release is an anchor retrieval system that allows you to pull your anchor up the way that it went in without causing damage to the reef, even if your anchor's stuck. Yeah, nice. When you pull up your anchor, you're pulling it through whatever it's attached to. So this can cause catastrophic damage. If you have a think about the 850,000 recreational vessels that are registered in Australia, or when they go on a fishing trip, they're pulling up that anchor three or four times every time they go out. It's not just the environment that's at stake here, though. Stuck anchors have been known to capsize boats and to cause damage to those boats or even drownings. In fact, it was an incident on our own boat that started all of this many years ago. So Peter, my husband, decided to set to work and find a better solution. As he would put it, after many years and many, many beers, we've come up with a simple, easy to use and environmentally friendly device. It will retrofit to most anchors and is able to be used on recreational vessels up to about 40 feet. Let me show you how it works. So here I am in my boat. I'm ready to pull up the anchor and guess what? It's stuck. 
So I have a sleeve that stays up in the boat until you're ready to retrieve. The device, as you can see, is on the anchor at all times. So you let the sleeve down. I'll just do it gently. It compresses the pins, releases the coupling, enables you to pull the anchor up the way that it went in. Oh, do that again. Impressive. That was like a magic trick. You have the sleeve up, you let it down, it compresses the pin and pulls it upside down and pulls the anchor up. Well done. Well done. Yeah, yeah, no, great job. Fabulous. No, thank you. OK, Margaret, so you're looking for $200,000 for 20% yeah. of your company, valuing it at a cool $1 million. Yes, that's the actual collar that yeah. slides down. You can see that it has a taper. So every type of anchor you can retrofit it to? Uh, most types of anchor. We haven't found that one that you can't because all that you need is the attachment point at the top of the anchor for the extra piece of chain. Yeah. This is a fantastic bit of kit. Can you go through the economics? What's, what's the cost to manufacture, do you think? About $100 manufacture. 100 bucks, OK. $100 to manufacture, and yeah. the wholesale price, you're thinking, is? Uh, $230. That's $230. average of across the board. Recommend retail is $295. We have actually sold 150. You already yes. tested in the marketplace? Yes. So in terms of getting the price down, yes. you've obviously... Gone offshore. What are we going to get it down to? 40 or $50 to make. That would be fantastic if you can do that. Do you have patent protection on this? Yes, we do. Right. How long ago was that applied for? A long time ago. We have three years left on our patents. Oh, Margaret, three years left. I know. You're killing me, Margaret. What happened in the last 15 years that you only got three years left on your patent? Because we couldn't get a manufacturer to manufacture them properly. Margaret, why did it take you three years to come to Shark Tank? Well, I had no sales initially. It doesn't stop most people walking through that door. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> really, if someone's going to invest in this, they've got to make hay for the next three years. After that point, someone can legally copy it. Yes. Margaret, where's Peter? He's the inventor, right? He's hiding out the back. <laughs> he's hiding? What do you mean he's hiding? Is he scared of us? He believes he's the inventor and he's done his bit, so I have to do the rest. <laughs> Should I go get him? Yeah, bring Absolutely. him out. Absolutely. He cannot hide from us. It's safe in here. She's obviously got the US patent, but, you know, three years to run, hello. Hard work. What do you think, Glenn? I like it. My biggest issue, quite simply, is the recommended retail price. I think it's got to be under 100 bucks, and then you're going to roll them off. What's happening? You need to come into the Sharks and, and meet them, so if we want to get a deal. Oh, OK. Let's do it. What if it became a marine standard? If you want to take a fishing boat out, you've got to have this on there. That'll boost sales. Yeah. Peter, we've heard a lot about you, and we've seen some of your work. Welcome to the tank. Thank you very much. What inspired you to spend so much time on this? I love the reef. I grew up on the reef. And I wanted to do my little bit time in the world to help this. That's exactly where I got to in my headspace. This is an environmental thing more than anything. So every time you drop an anchor, yeah. you drop it with one of these because you're going to do less impact to the environment. Oh, my word, yeah. Mate, why'd you sit on it for 17 years? I'm sitting here wanting to do this deal, and I've got a three-year shop clock working against me. Um, I was trying to um, prototype it, and I, I sort of, when I wanted something done, I was put on a low priority everywhere I went. So I had to basically build my own shed, get my own machines and do it myself. So you actually acquired all the machine tools to build the prototype yourself? Yeah. Yeah, I thought this was a hobby. This has been a complete obsession. Yeah. Has Margaret been any support? Oh, couldn't do it without her. Um, simple as that. Um, hmm. She's the big driver now, really, you know, like... It means everything to us because we've basically spent our retirement, so we need to make this work. When you start down the business journey, you've got to be cleverer. 
Yep. Because the downside of it is bankruptcy, exhaustion of your retirement funds, not leaving legacy for your kids. That's the downside when you stuff it up, right? That's right. Please don't take this too personally, but you've stuffed it up. Margaret, Peter, I'll tell you where I'm at. Look, I love your enthusiasm and your passion for the reef. You know, we should all admire that. And, and your tenacity. 15 years banging away at this and then in the end having to make it yourself with your own bare hands. Fantastic. Sadly, you tried to make the product yourself yes. and create a business out of the product. What you could have done is find someone who could make it, distribute it, sell it and give you a piece of the action, a license. Oh, and I'm still prepared for somebody to offer us a royalty and to do that, certainly. I wished we'd got to you earlier, but for those reasons, I wish you well, but I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I so want to do this deal, but every financial part of my brain says, don't, don't, don't. I can't find a reason to do this deal because of the, the three-year shot clock. I'm out. I'm so sorry. I'm out. If, if I can think of a way to help you, I, I will reach out to you. I, I, I want to do something. It won't be an investment today. Yep. Thanks for this. It, it will help save the reef. Thank you. Thank you very much, yeah. You know, I think it's a great invention. I can't get past the fact that you've spent an absolute fortune on patents and haven't done anything with them for 15 to 17 years. I'm out. OK, thanks, Jenny. So, Margaret and Peter. Yes, Nerm. Hats off to you. It's really fabulous. I happen to be spending six weeks around the corner from you this summer. So, given that I'm going to be in your region for six weeks, I'm really happy to mentor you. That would be fabulous. So let me spend some time with you and let's see what we can come up with. That would be wonderful. But for this deal, right now, I'm out. So four sharks are out, just one shark left. And so I keep reminding myself that I'm an investor, not a charity. Yeah. And the investor side of my brain, which is the nasty side, <laughs> then works out how to position so that if this goes well, I get the upside, but I also minimise the risk on the downside. This has got the environmental thing, you know. That... So I'm just struggling, deeply struggling. I'm going to throw an offer at you. I want 100% of the company for 200,000 with a 5% royalty all the way through. Forever and ever. Can we just, can we just restart the offer because it, this has never been offered in the tank. I'm buying the company. The 200,000 goes to them. It doesn't go into the company. Is that what it is, Glenn? Yeah. You get all your money back and maybe some upside if he gets it off the ground 5%. Normally, I'd tell you to run away from that deal and that it's a load of crap. But you want to save the reef. You've only got three years to go, and you've done your retirement money on it. So I actually have to say it's not a bad offer. I've got to look at the exact reason why this has been going on, and I've stuck at it, and Margaret's stuck at it too. It's, it's about our dream, and um, my passion for the reef. I think, well, I know you have got more of a chance to fulfil this dream that I'll have in the amount of time we've got left. So for that reason, I'm happy with you, mate. Good. Hey, well done. You just won the lottery. That is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Well done. <laughs> I know that was a very, very hard decision, but yeah. I, I think oh, it's good. Sorry, Pete, for a vet is a nice Thank you. Congratulations. Well done, you guys. Well, you did do that there, <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.
Thanks, Peter. Thanks, Margaret. Congratulations, guys. Really, congratulations. It's fantastic. Wow. <laughs> you sold your company. I know. Who would have thought that? I get, were you expecting that at all? No, as not at the all. Tank today? Not at all. I always knew that having only three years left was going to be an issue. And um, yeah, but that's awesome. Can you imagine what it's like for them? Amazing. Life changing. Today they came in to the tank and their life forever is changed because you will make a difference to the planet. I'm happy, yeah. It's for the passion of the reef and the environment out there and um, that's, that's my dream. They loved you and your product and yeah, um, that's great. all the best for the future, hey? Thank you. Yeah, thank you very, thank you very much. much. Thank you. This way, no risk, their dreams fulfilled, they sit back, take a royalty. I, I think my name's Jeff, I'm originally from Canada, and now I'm living in beautiful Byron Bay. I originally came to Australia as a backpacker. Uh, I loved it so much, I ended up staying and uh, just decided to get into business for myself and started my first company. My brand definitely epitomizes the uh, Byron Bay lifestyle. It's energetic, it's young, it's fashionable. The dream for the business would be to have my product out there all over Australia. Hello Sharks, my name is Jeff and I come from Byron Bay today to offer you 20% of my company, Grown Wooden Eyewear, in exchange for $60,000. Grown designs and sells bamboo and wood sunglasses online through our three main sites, uh, which cater to Europe, North America and Australia, New Zealand markets. All of our products are made using FSC certified wood and bamboo and all come with UV 400 polarized lenses. For every pair uh, purchased in North America or Europe, we fully fund sight restoring eye surgery for one person or diagnostic eye exams for 12. Similarly, in Australia, through our new giving partner, Wires, for every pair sold, we provide the gift of life to an orphaned or injured Australian animal. So what we're here today to, to do is uh, get a partner that understands our conscious approach to capitalism and someone that can open doors for us and get us in retail shops, which we've previously uh, ignored. So what I'd like to do before you have any questions is hand you a pair that I've handpicked for you. Oh, fantastic. Uh, Thanks, Jeff. You, you said Byron Bay, Jeff, but your accent suggests you're from somewhere else originally. A little further it's north. true. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm from Canada originally. Right. But uh, I've been in Australia for six years. They actually look really good on you. Yeah, good on you, Naomi. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, they just look like something Damien Everett would use or something. Oh, stop. Mind you, you know what? The good news is, if he thinks that, they're obviously stylish. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's good news. You're on a winner there, Jeff. Yeah, You're you on a winner. Thanks, Definitely. Man. Thank you. I like them. You look great. You look very cool. Tell me about your online world. How many people visit your Australian website? Um, we're hitting about 400, 500 a day. And how many people are buying? Uh, sell through of about 2.1%. So are you selling 10 of these a day online? Through the three through the three online shops, we're selling more than 10 a day. How much do they are a people? They, they range in price from 120 to uh, 175. That's actually not too bad. Jeff, where are you at in the sales cycle? Have you started selling these in Australia and in your other locations? I started up in 2010, but our first full year of sales was 2012. Um, at that time, we did 65,000 in sales and uh, did a, a net profit of uh, 37,000. 2013, we essentially doubled that, so 125. 2014, we took a bit of a hit. Uh, it was kind of a self-inflicted hit, actually. I pulled one of our, our top selling item off the shelves. Um, I didn't want to sell it because I was not convinced of the sustainability. Pulled them off. We, we lost a bit in sales. But it gave me the chance to go back, get all of our, our wood suppliers FSC certified. Tell us about your green credentials, because it's obviously important to you. I'm just an environmental guy. I care about well, the impact that I have on the earth, and that's what this business was for. It was, it was to do something good. So how much of your revenue goes to your charitable efforts? Donations range between uh, 14 and 
uh, $25. Do you work full-time in the business? I work, uh, I probably part-time on it. Um, what, what else do you do? I also run another company, uh, which is a winter headwear company. That's, uh, that's going quite well right now. Is it? How well is that going? Uh, we're doing six figures. So how much concentration will this business have? Uh, well, that's another reason I wanted to bring somebody else on. Oh, so you're, you're, you're working in this business? You like? Actually... I will be working in it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm, all right. I'm doing. A, I'm doing a, a couple projects at the. So you'll be selling winter headwear and wooden sunglasses. Uh, yeah. Um, I wish you all the best, mate. But I'm out. There's really a tension, a conflict here. For an investor, we really want to know that you're on our business, whatever that is, yep. whereas you could be spending potentially 90% of your time on the other business and 10% on this, at, at which point we would be suffering. I'm devoted to, to, to everything I do, 100%, or I'll drop a project, but, but I really want to see this one grow. Um, the other business is running kind of self self sufficiently right now. But you know, no business does that. It only takes one person to leave, and you and suddenly you have to put this on the sideline because this is your cash cow. No business runs independently of the person that loves it, lives it, and breathes it. You know, I don't want to step out of grown. I want to grow grown. This is this is. I want to see this take off more. I want to play. I really do. I really want to get in business with you. I want another excuse to see my beautiful yoga teacher in Byron Bay on a regular Great. basis. Um, but I love the product. I don't like the structure. I'd want to get involved the whole business and then work collectively with you to grow both. And we've got it, both both um, seasons sort of sorted. Would you re-look at it and um, talk about winter headwear as, as the whole business? Would you reconsider it? Jeff Phillips wants $60,000 for 20% of his sustainable sunglasses business. One shark is out. Janine is hooked. I love the product. I don't like the structure. But she wants more than what's on offer. I can tell you now, if the winter head where company was in it, I'd want to get involved the whole business and then work collectively with you to grow both and we've got both seasons sort of sorted. Um, would you would you re-look at it and um, talk about winter headwear as, as the whole business? I, I didn't expect it. I listened to any offers, but it, it would have to be substantial. Yeah. I suppose it's probably another long conversation, but I just think if it was a different you know, thing where they were both in there, I would have bit your hand off. But unfortunately for this opportunity, damn it, but I'm out. Thank you for your consideration anyway. I did. You look good in them. I did look good. Oh, thank you. Um, I love your product. I like the look of it. I, I'd be a customer, and I like the fact that it's environmentally friendly. But, you know, choosing a partner, someone to invest in, um, you know, with respect, uh, I, I find that there's mixed messages there. I'm a bit confused. I'm not sure where your attention would be. And so okay. I wish you luck, but for all those reasons, I'm out. Thanks, man. So I hear the concerns regarding um, a commitment to the business. And I love the business and I love what you stand for. So I am going to put you an offer. Okay. It might not be an on offer you like, but it's the only way that I can make sure that this business gets the love and attention that it needs. So I'm going to offer you the $60,000 you've asked for for 51% of the business. Okay. It's a bit of a shock. Thanks for warning me. <laughs> <laughs>
You're in Shark Tank, <laughs> didn't you know? <laughs> shark Tank, Shark Tank. Just to clarify, that's 51% uh, of this of eyewear this business, business. Not, not his, business. Not his Northern Hemisphere hat business. OK. Can I, uh, can I just ask, what, what do you... What how do you I see bring? that going? Yeah, what would you bring to the table? So, um, Red Balloon, my existing business, we're in 7,000 retail outlets. I also bring a great deal of web experience. So if we were to do nothing else, I would really be driving your website. A and I'd be taking that way under my wing pretty quickly, which is why I want 51%. OK. Yeah. Jeff, I'll make you an offer. First and foremost, because I really like you. Thanks, man. Thank I think you. you're a good guy. Thank you. Uh, I love the fact that you pulled your top selling line because you're concerned about the sustainability of the timber. To me, that says that if I got into business with you, I'm getting into business with a really good guy. Thanks. I even love the fact that you came in flip flops. That's kind of pretty cool. So I'll make you an offer. I think it's slightly better than a Naomi's deal. And I'm going to say to Naomi, if she wants to come in with the offer, if you accept it, that I would also be happy working alongside Naomi. So just there's a few elements. Let me just, just bear with me. Number one. The monetary side of the offer is $40,000 for 40% a $20,000 loan to the business on commercial terms for two years. Number two, Naomi and I both know a guy called Chris Beer, who's the head of OPSM and Sunglass Hut, probably Australia's preeminent providers of eyewear. Luxotica is also a global brand, so there's a potential for this not just to hit Australia, but hit around the world. Third condition is we carve off, all of us, 5% for an ambassador. 5% free gifting of this for them to be our ambassador and we can then utilise them in marketing, social media and so forth. Naomi, do you want to be on your own? I think uh, John and I both bring different skill sets to this and I think that that would be very valuable to you. So you'd come in at the uh, 40 for 40? We'd split it. So it would be 40% between the two of us. You get two sharks and an ambassador and a joint introduction and meeting with Luxottica to get you into OPSM and Sunglass Hut. Sounds like a deal. Well, I look forward to working with you. Well done. Thanks, mate. Thank you. Congratulations, <laughs> Mrs. Bottom. <Barnum. laughs> you let us know when you get back to time. Sydney, <laughs> and then we'll organise to go and see Chris, and yeah. we're on the road. And we're, we're on the road. Good luck to you. Thanks, guys. Appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you. Thanks. See you. See you later. Uh, Grown will continue to, to grow, um, especially with them on board. So we're going to do everything we can to get this out onto all the Australians' faces. Fuck, I would have come in on that. Oh, really? <laughs> 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 And I was hoping you would say no to him, and then I would have gone, I'll have it. <laughs> yeah. I was going, say no, say no, say no. And I thought, I'll come straight in there.